Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to understand the recent, the recent current affair issue, the launching of Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan. So this was the article mentioned about the launching of Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan. Let us try to understand important aspects from the UPSC point of view. This topic comes under civil service examination mains under the section general studies paper 2 under the subsection social justice and even policy interventions of the government okay so in this session we are going to understand what do you mean by tb what are the types of tbs and what is the goal set by the who and what are the different government strategies? I can say from 1961 to 2022, what are the several campaigns started by government of India against TB? Then we will try to understand the challenges and then see way forward. To begin with, we all well aware that tuberculosis is a disease. It's a disease caused by this bacteria called as mycobacterium tuberculosis. And one unfortunate thing is this disease when it was entered into the host or you can say human body it will never show its symptoms immediately it will take time and during that time it will evolve in the human body it will strengthen and then it will show its symptoms the period in which it is inactive in a human body we call it as inactive tuberculosis which is a bit difficult to identify further the symptoms can be seen in, in the forms like cough, cold, reduced immunity and that is called as active tuberculosis. But here I would like to mention one of the recent report of World Health Organization which mentions about drug resistance TB. We are well aware about the topic called as antimicrobial resistance. In this we, we will understand that even UPSC asked the main question also about this. We have to focus that this anti, uh, sorry, this antimicrobial resistance meaning is the drugs or you can say the medicines are no more effective on the on the bugs or you can say on the micro on the microbes. Similar to that, similar to that concept, this drug resistance TB meaning is the the drugs which are effectively reducing tuberculosis are no more efficient. And unfortunately, this drug resistance TB cases are rising in India. Okay. So, after understanding the, the effect of TB, because every year almost 1.5 people, 1,50,000 1, uh, people dying in it because of TB throughout the globe. So, double health, the World Health Organization decided to counter TB by a program called as directly, directly observed treatment treatment short course strategy short course strategy dot strategy this can be a prelims question the, the sections the two slides which i discussed like uh, types of tb and drug resistance tb and uh, dot strategy this can be a part of prelims questions itself for example which are the following is incorrect about dot strategy they will give you some points and you have to identify dot strategy is to is to counter tuberculosis Okay, for so this is prelims part discussion. Let us move further for the main discussion and also we will try to understand government schemes. So, why government of India has to focus? One important thing is according to WHO, according to WHO, 42.6% of cases are not registered in India. And also India is having highest according to disease burden report of WHO, India is witnessing almost highest burden of TB cases in the world, highest burden of TB cases in the world. So, if you are writing any essay, let us say, in an essay saying that challenges to India for the next 25 years, that can be a potential topic also for your prelims and mains and even for the interview section also. So, for that topic, you have to remember tackling tuberculosis is one of the challenge in social sector. All right. So, let us move further. So, government of India started strategies even from 1961 itself. So, in 1961, they launched a program called as District District TB Program. The first district they, they conducted this strategy is Anantapur, Anantapur in Andhra Pradesh. 
okay later what happened they updated this tb into this program called as national tuberculosis control Pro program and at this they want to focus on district level management supplying of drugs like that however the major change in india's policy intervention against tb appeared after the updation of dots so after the dot strategy even india revised india revised its national tuberculosis tuberculosis control program okay this is rntbc so this is this is a way to provide cost effective very effective tb control program further what happened in the year 2012 they launched a dedicated scheme and this time they even started to fix targets also they fixed the tb free india tb free india and uh, just a second <coughs> excuse me so tb free india so here in this strategy national strategy strategic plan to reduce tb they want to ensure quality di diagnosis they want to ensure quality diagnosis treatment and even support for tb patient so here fee co free cost medicines is one idea treatment is one idea apart from that they decided to eliminate tb they decided to eliminate tb by 2025 itself so you can also see under this national strategic plan to eliminate tb they launched a program called as project nikshai i mean no shai shai means in indian language we call tuberculosis so project nikshai aims to provide 500 rupees amount for the nutritional support of the additional nutrition support of the patient and remember one thing our tb elimination program also aligned with sustainable development goal 3.3 also all right so with a with a high spirit even last 2020 we decided to launch this program national tb elimination program national national tb elimination program 2020 this is one of the one of the recent update in government of india's policy the policy aims to provide provide that by end aims to pro aims to aims to do uh, aims to end tb by 2025 end tb by 2025 and uh, they want to launch a program called as tb survivor tb survivor tb survivor 2 champion tb survivor 2 champion program tb survivor 2 just a second yeah tb survivor 2 champion program further further they even launched a scheme to tackle multi drug resistant tb also further further they focused on local level surveillance local level surveillance against the tb okay last year even 2021 they launched this e rupee concept i hope you are aware about this in current affairs but i will just revise you that is in this in this e rupee they will provide you voucher or sms or one qr code so you have to go some relevant area which was mentioned by the government and you have to just give this voucher or scan your qr code or show this sms they will provide you medicines so this is a way to reduce the corruption or to reduce the illegalities to reduce the diversion of uh, diversion of the medicines of uh, with respect to uh, with respect to tb all right and last but not least they even started to train social health workers to prevent tb or to aware about tb right so these are the strategies launched by government of india can we say they are sufficient or efficient and definitely no there are some challenges with respect to that so this is tb uh, project nikshai we already uh, done with that and there are some challenges here one by one we will try to understand the first and foremost challenge is policy level challenges here poor diagnosis sometimes inaccessible sometimes unavailable most of the cases both will accept both will both will exist so here policy level means uh, here their diagnosis is a not is not an issue not a, uh, one of the important problem because patients are unable to get proper uh, proper uh, testing and also proper reports and maintenance of data even as i told you who report almost 26% of the cases are unreported they don't know who are tb patients 
and they are unable to identify themselves itself that is data is unavailable and very importantly delay in release of funds okay delay in release of funds is even one even one of the most important program it was mentioned by lancet a medical journal that indian tb program is effective but not sufficient because the delay of funds is one one of the core important challenge for the uh, effective implementation of the tb program further according to who the focus the focus given to research and development against the tb is very low in india very low in india and it is even more concerned about uh, recent reports even more concerned about uh, drug rise of drug resistant tb in india and you see that social determinants it was categorically mentioned by world health organization what sir that is tb should not be seen from medicines point of view it is having some social sector contribution also so for the to explain this this i would like to take a report mentioned by health health research health research and policy system so health research and policy system what was they mentioned is they mentioned that tb expansion in india is due to certain important factors like poor ventilation poor ventila ventilation and overcrowded slums overcrowded overcrowded slums and also unhygienic working uh, working atmosphere or workplaces unhygienic or hazardous work uh, work atmosphere and uh, even a ngo ngo called as a stop tb uh, stop tb partnership ngo stop tb partnership ngo mentioned that uh, mentioned that the areas which are having low level of human development index and those areas are subject for high amount of tb you have to understand the areas which are having low level of education low level of health and low level of income or you can say quality of life they are witnessing high amount of tb apart from that poor nutrition according to who poor nutrition support and also addictions particularly alcohol and drugs is also another important factor and lancet very categorically mentioned that lancet mentioned that the patients if they are aware about tb they are facing lot of anxiety and depression because they were socially stigmatized discriminated that is one of the reason and finally awareness is still low i i, I just want to give you a case study here so it was uh, a case study done by a newspaper in hyderabad region so most of the regions are still are still uh, slum areas are still affected by co uh, affected by t uh, tuberculosis and unfortunately what is happening is the patients which are who are suffered by hiv or aids again they are affected by tb so this is a multi dimensional challenge and we need to act even as per the requirements all right so after understanding these challenges let us try to understand let us try to understand way forward what to do in the best way so if you take united united states of america even they faced even they faced the issue of tb but they maintained a real time data okay how many patients are exactly covered how many patients exactly got this month medicines why some are missing why some are unable to get the diagnosis why wh what is the status of the reports that has to be brought into indian indian medical system and uh, tamil nadu state doing wonderful things because they are conducting mobile testing mobile testing mobile diagnosis for tb patients further there is a, a kochi which is in kerala also started this after sales care okay this is to engage private hospitals this is to engage private hospitals even world health organizations one of its challenge mentioned that india's private sector is not very much engaged in prevention of tb so here we need to understand kochi which in kerala successfully proved that it is private care involvement involvement of private care is a way to reduce tb and they were succeeded also this private care will involve in evaluation observation and also to follow or you can say feedback follow up campaign uh, similar to follow up campaign they are doing it and further we need to have social audits at local government level one step in the right direction is very recently in the month of july in 2022 ministry of ministry of panchayat and ministry of health and family welfare 
came to for came for one MOU to conduct uh, uh, awareness and also to conduct uh, evolution thing uh, evolution kind of things. And for further, as I told you, uh, more more importance should be given to the the uh, private role private private role should be there. And apart from med medicine side, apart from policy level, apart from fund side, we need to focus on even social determinants also. Like we should use Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana for better housing. Okay, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan for better toilets and <coughs> Jal Jeevan Mission for providing for providing your Jal Jeevan Mission for providing safe drinking water. And finally, we need to focus on finally we need to focus on better funds for better funds. We can use we can utilize this CSR funds. We can utilize CSR funds. We can utilize CSR funds also. We can use CSR funds, corporate social responsibility funds also in dealing with TB. Finally, what we can do is international collaboration. For example, there are some like-minded countries with us. Like you see, uh, some countries like uh, America, we can take help. So in tackling research and development. For example, in Quad, there is a, there is a, a, a working group called as Joint Vaccine Development. So we can also initiate this, uh, initiate this, uh, initiate this, uh, in better vaccine development, uh, in better vaccine development, or also better medicines production, also in uh, research and development, particularly for the new multi-drug resistance kind of things. And finally, I would like to say, whatever it takes, that is the social vaccine has to be has to be, have, social vac vaccine has to be reached to the far places. You know what is social vaccine is about? It includes information, communication, and behavior change behavior change so like you see uh, st started starting some d addiction centers and also focusing on uh, Im giving importance to the health particularly primary health strengthening the primary health supplying of medicines definitely work out and finally i would like to say here as per the world bank that is it is as per the world bank it is uh, a multi a multi uh, t uh, tackling tb is a multi faceted challenge however by all st uh, involving by all stakeholders like government public private and also ngos there are some wonderful ngos i mentioned about stop tb partnership so like that we have to engage them at school level at panchayat level we need to upgrade the uh, logistics medicines and even we need to upgrade the information available to the people so that only we can eradicate tb and definitely we will achieve the goal of ending TB by 2025, which was mentioned by Sustainable Development Goal, as well as our policies also. So definitely, TB harega, de desh jitega. Thank you so much and namaste.